Welcome back guys! Today we're headed to Uniqlo, probably my favorite store in all of Japan. I'll include a link down below, but they have the best t-shirt shop. And you know, I'm obsessed with cute t-shirts, so <laughs> this kind of solves a lot of problems for me. So what do you think of this one? It's actually from the guys section, but I think it's really big. Mm. Bananas. I'm terrible. So I'm really feeling this shirt. It's actually from the guys section, but you know, it's really cute. So I tried on boyfriend jeans and I don't know how they like them. I mean like, I might need to get even one size bigger. I don't know. But they're cute. So I think I found my dream jeans. They look amazing. You guys will see them in my vlog sometimes they more on my Instagram. I love shopping at Uniqlo. If you don't know what the store is, I'll link it down in the description box, I think. But it's like the best store. It's like a maybe a means in Japan because it's even better. And like if you're in the fitting room and like your pants or your shirt is like the wrong size though, the customer service people go get it a uh, another one for you that's the right size. It's amazing. But like, I'm getting out. But anyways, those are a fun shop for me. So I'm happy. And that's all that matters. This wasabi garden is well known in Japan for the production of wasabi. The area that my mom grew up in is known for many different food things. Soba and apples and there's also wasabi. So wasabi production needs clean air, clean water, and very, very pure dirt. So this area provides all of that, and that's why they produce like they do. Today we're headed to my grandmother's hometown, Ida, which is well, probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. I haven't been back here in a very, very long time, so it was really cool to make the trip back, even though the occasion wasn't the very happiest. Hey guys, so I'm on the bridge where I tripped and fell when I was three years old, and it's really cool. So I was walking across with my mom, but she started getting sick in the middle of the bridge. Not like actually like throwing up and stuff, but like apparently the bridge really scares her because of like the heights and stuff. Like it's really way off the ground. So I came across by myself, but it looks really, really cool. See, I told you it was cool. I'm not afraid of heights for some reason. I don't know. dog now and I just want to talk about like our trip so today we went to visit my great aunt um, she just lost her husband like a week or two before we got here we were supposed to be coming and we were supposed to be able to go see him but um, he passed away like a week before we even got here so that's really sad so keep my family and your thoughts and prayers and whatever you do um, it was like really hard so we got to see my aunt she was really sad Our sheep hound is like so territorial, it's ridiculous. 
totally random, but me and my mom found this cat, and it followed us all the way home when we were on our evening walk around our neighborhood. So we gave him, or her, some bonito flakes, some fish flakes, and she really appreciated that. Okay, so we went to the mall, and we went to one of my other favorite stores, H&M, just to look around, because they do run things differently in Japan, and it was really cute. Obviously, it's H&M. So I looked at some business attire that I may need in the future, so just marketing research, you know. from the future. So what ended up happening on this night, I did get footage, but it's going to be in my food vlog because it takes so much time to explain. But I thought I'd explain anyway. So my uncle's business got discovered by this mountain resort restaurant. And like they cook fancy French food, apparently. But they think his onions are like the best, so they hired him to produce onions for them. So we went to visit their resort and ate dinner there. It was like probably the most expensive meal of our lives. But it was really good, and it was really cool to see how they were actually using his produce and how they sought him out just for their restaurant to make some fancy expensive French food. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, back to vlog footage. <sighs> okay, so today is the last day. Pretty sad, and for some reason it always rains on our very last day. So it's raining. <laughs> It always rains on the last walk, technically, for some reason. So, it's like we're getting the leftovers of the typhoon that just came over the ocean or whatever. I don't know, but I'm getting soaked. It is ridiculous. But our dog does not seem to notice this, and he's having lots of fun. Just look, my brother's trying to hurry him up, and he's just kind of not listening. But, yeah. This is our world. I think there's like 50 mile per hour winds too right now, so... <laughs> so I have no clue if I'm gonna have time later to even do like this end vlog thing. It is raining like crazy. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm not gonna end the vlog, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the trip. So it was pretty fun, we spent a lot of time with family and our dog. Hi. So there are literally like frogs everywhere since it's the countryside. They're all hopping out because it's raining. And by the way, I'm getting up to the top of face right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so awesome trip. Not so awesome rainy day. But it's gonna be okay because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's really pretty actually. See, you can see the mountains getting all clogged up. But I'm like dripping. Okay, today's the day. Saying goodbye is never fun. Um, I think we've had a great trip, great journey together, and I guess we'll be back soon, hopefully. 
now on to the airport. So after several hours, here we are back in Tokyo. Still raining, perfect weather for vlogging. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I know. It's like the sky is crying with us or something. So, um, I guess we'll be getting on the plane pretty soon. Um, <laughs> we'll be back in a few years, Japan. We'll be back soon. So, we unexpectedly missed our flight in Washington, D.C. because of immigration and customs taking way too long. I think they need to restructure the system. But, at least, United paid for our hotel fare and we got to play giant outdoor chess. So I guess we're okay. We're going home today! So excited. Um, it, I think we're a little extra tired with the whole thing of missing our flight and we'll be glad to get home and relax. Um, jet lag is going to be horrendous, but I think we are going to be okay. So even though we missed our flight yesterday, got stuck in DC, we are now home and we're okay. So reference to the video I uploaded before vlog one of the trip. But anyways, thanks for traveling with me. I hope it was fun, enjoyable, and yeah. So give this vlog a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you can see everything else I will be posting in the near future. So I should probably go to sleep now because 13 hour jet lag is like the absolute worst. But you know, plus I'm wearing like wearing my dad's Jurassic Park shirt because I had no change of clothes and he's the only one who travels with his carry-on bag as his suitcase. So like, he was the only one with a change of clothes. So I just wore the same jeans and then wore his shirt. But anyways, <laughs> that's random. So yeah, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Say hi in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. I don't know why I went on that random rant right there, but 
I'm tired. So I'm going to say bye. Bye! Thank you.